Sometimes they'll ask you to convert radians to degrees or degrees to radians. You can always just use this proportion. Degrees are out of 360, radians are out of 2 pi. So in this case, we've got a 720 degree angle. So 720 over 360. We're trying to find the radians. They say that the radians are a pi, so we're going to put that there. And we know they're always out of 2 pi. And we can cancel here. That's like 2 over 1. Cancel the pi's. Cross multiply. We got 2 times 2 equals a times 1. And that means that a equals 4. This question from March of 2018 is almost identical to that last radians degrees conversion problem. So here they tell us that the angle is 540 and they want to know what the radians would be. So again, degrees to 360, radians to 2 pi. So we got 540 over 360. And they tell us the radians are x pi over 2 pi. Again, you want to cancel out there. And you can simplify this to 3 over 2. And then you cross multiply, you have 3 times 2 equals 2x, so that means that x equals 3. This one is asking for the radian measure of angle QOR, so this one. Um, and they tell us these two angles, but they're in degrees. So POQ is 30 degrees, ROT is also 30 degrees. We know since this is a straight line that it has to come out to 180, so that means that the angle we're looking for is 120 degrees. So now we just plug it into this proportion, 120 over 360 equals something over 2 pi. We're going to simplify that there, so it's 1 third. Then go ahead and cross multiply and you get 2 pi equals 3x. Divide both sides by 3 and you get 2 pi over 3. This question is asking for the measure of angle AOB but in radians. Um, and it tells us that point A is at root 3, 1. So I'm going to make a right triangle. I know this is going from 0 over to root 3, so that's root 3. This is going from 0 up to 1, so that's 1. And when I see those numbers, I think of a 30, 60, 90 triangle, where if the side across from angle 30 is x, then the one across from 60 is x root 3, and the one across from 90 is 2x. So in this case, it's just 1, root 3, and 2. Those are our sides. And so the angle that I'm looking for is 30 degrees. Now we just have to turn that into radians using our formula here. So we got 30 over 360 equals something over 2 pi. That's the same thing as a 12th over there. When you cross multiply, you get 2 pi equals 12x. And that means when you divide by 12, you're going to get pi over 6 equals x. That equals pi over a, so a must equal 6. If you like these videos, please subscribe to the YouTube Math Chops channel, and if you need to improve your SAT or ACT math skills, you should sign up at mathchops.com. There's an unlimited 7-day free trial. Cancel anytime inside the app.